Hi, I'm Rob. I'm here with Group RS today and we're here at Drew Changi Airport. And this is the Porsche Driving Tomorrow exhibition. We're gonna skip this right here. I'm gonna go right to the back. I'm gonna talk about this definitely later. But over here we've got a Porsche 356. I think Porsche is one of these brands that is synonymous with sports cars. I think the 911 defines the segment. And it's really interesting today that we're here and we see two Porsches here, neither of them are 911. So the 356 is iconic. This car is the very first Porsche, right? And you can see from the lines of this, how Porsche has evolved its design through the years. So this one here being the number one registered in 1948 and the top speed of 135. So we've come a long way. So through the exhibition on the walls, you can see there's a lot of uh, history of Porsche talking about its electrification journey and I guess sustainability, right? And then we come to this over here, the Taycan, which is arguably the most important car for Porsche today. And I would say probably for the whole motoring industry, I think we've seen the rise of electrification with cars, with the popularity of Tesla. And remember I was talking about the shape of the car, so you can see the line and how it's progressed from the 356 to the 911 and this gorgeous rear end of this Taycan, which you can see from here, it's already sold. So it's got a lucky owner already. Let's have a look at the, some of the numbers here. So this Taycan Turbo S, I know the turbo branding is a little bit controversial. It generates up to 560 kilowatts and the zero to 100 in 2.8 seconds. That's actually as quick as a 911 GT2 RS, which is amazing for a four-door saloon. Okay, so that concludes our walk around tour of the Porsche Driving Tomorrow exhibition. If you've got some time this holidays, come down to Jewel Changi Airport and check it out before the 16th of January. And you can see the Porsche 356 and Porsche's journey to the Taycan today. If you like the content, please like and follow us on Facebook. Leave us a comment and let us know whether you'd buy an electric vehicle and whether you think the Taycan represents the future of the sports car. Thanks. Happy holidays.